call me S K E P T A. Before I start, I just wanna say, boy, better know. What's up guys, Flute here and I'm bringing you another money making tip today. Today is going to be on how to trade a certain player, so it's just going to be like buy low, sell high. Uh, a lot of you are going to already know this method from FIFA 12, but this for people who are new to FIFA 13, haven't played before and are just looking to make some coins. You can do this with really any amount of coins, it just depends what player you're trading with. So the first player which I'm going to go and search for is Gomez because I know his price is a uh, normal average buy now in a 4 one 2 2 is around about 25k so I'm just checking if there's any cheaper than that at the moment there isn't so I'm gonna search 25k buy now and there are a lot of them up on the market at the moment I'm actually doing this quite late so I'm kind of surprised that there's a lot up at the market uh, so 25k buy now is his lowest buy now so what you're gonna do is search for maximum price and then you wanna go that uh, search that up to around about 20k so you still make a decent amount of coins profit so 5k coins profit from 25k is absolutely fantastic I mean you're gonna get taxed quite a bit on that you're gonna get taxed about a K on that but you know if you bid 20k right there from 90,750 you're gonna have to wait quite a while there's about 50 minute wait right there there's one in my watch list on 150 open bids so I bid it on the two there another player which I'm gonna show you how to do it with is Marco Royce so he plays for uh, Borussia Dortmund and that's my tweet that going off there unfortunately but uh, yeah he's a centre forward I'm gonna search 4231 uh, just because the 4122 doesn't have that uh, centre forward slot it has to come slot but you know centre forward that's his fixed position and I don't really want to be searching through converted ones so I'm quickly just gonna see what his max price is going for instead of uh, you know taking absolutely forever to change his buy now so I see quite a few here there's one with 25 minutes left there's another with 41 minutes left on a quite a low uh, max price so I'm just going to add those to my watch list you probably could go a bit higher maybe up to around about 30k uh, I, di I didn't actually know his average by now at the time when I was recording this but uh, after it, I think it's around about 36k and that's mainly because he's had an inform his inform was a left mid and um, normally well usually when a player gets an inform their normal card goes up in price uh, Royce has gone up quite a lot I bought mine for uh, 20k when the season ticket was out and now he's going for like 38k bin which is uh, kind of ridiculous I think 36k by now is his lowest so if you can pick him up anywhere cheaper than 31k you can really do this for any player just pick a player and you will be able to do it for pretty much any player so this is basically it for the video guys just gonna show you that the lowest by now is 36k on Royce uh, I would suggest doing this method really at off peak time so anywhere which isn't I'd say 10 p.m. Uh, GMT after that or maybe uh, 10 a.m. Yeah, 10 a.m. GMT. So those times are pretty much perfect for when you're doing it. This is just me bidding on some roasters. So this is basically it for the video, guys. I do hope you've enjoyed it. If you have enjoyed it, leave a like on the video. There will be a trading episode out tomorrow, so uh, look forward to that. And thanks for watching. Bye.